Welcome to this video from the technology company on how to protect yourself from rogue antivirus software. Here we are on a Windows 7 machine which is being protected by Microsoft Security Essentials. You can see the virus and spyware definitions are up to date. Okay, I'm going to go to a web page and I'm going to try and deliberately infect myself with one of these rogue antivirus uh, software programs. And they all vary in how they look and how they affect your machine, but this is a typical one um, that is mildly tricky to, to get off, but not as hard as some of them. Um, and in future videos, I'll try and show you how to remove the more tricky um, anti, uh, sorry, the rogue antivirus software. So here, I'm going to click here on this link, and you can see it's taken me to this false warning from Microsoft Windows, which is actually just coming from that web page, which if I move this away, you probably see it hidden behind saying, caution, your computer contains a variety of suspicious programs. It requires immediate checking. If I click OK, it then pulls me to this, takes me to this web page, which is pretending to be your computer, and it's scanning my computer, and it's found loads and loads of Trojans and uh, various viruses down here below, saying your computer is infected. Now, this is just a video, really. Of uh, it, It's not real at all. It's just a video you can see up here. We're actually in a web page. It says, please wait a moment. This is important. We check your devices. Um, bad English is always a good sign that there's something fishy going on. Um, it's, also, it's, come up, it's also come up with this window security alert. This, this looks very genuine, actually, um, but it's, it's part of the web page. You can't drag the title bar um, around. This is the title bar at the top. If you try to move that, you're just clicking on the web page. Um, normally, you'd be able to drag it around if it's coming from Windows. So, um, in this situation, the best thing you can do is try and shut down the browser. You don't need to turn off your computer, you just need to shut down the browser. Click on the X at the top there, follow through anything that means you're closing down the browser. You can see now that it's gone, and uh, you know, I'd still run a full virus scan, but you're, you've not been tricked into downloading that uh, fake software. This time, I'm going to go ahead and actually um, click through all the OK messages and uh, see how I, how I can infect my machine. So it's trying to, it's performing a fake um, system scan. Again, I told, as I said before, this is, this, this is, all, um, this is all rubbish actually. Um, and, and eventually um, it'll complete the scan, it'll say to help your computer, Windows Defender has, to help protect your computer, Windows Defender has detected spyware and ready to remove them. It doesn't even read properly. So I'm gonna click on the removal. And here it's asking me to run a program, pack.exe. Now anything with an exe extension means that it's a program that's gonna run, it could do anything. So you always have to be very um, certain that the program you're running is, is genuine. So this, this applies to getting an email from somebody or I'm going to visit a website and downloading a program. As long as you trust the, program, the, the, the website you're on, here I don't, because I'm thinking, well, where is this coming from? Um, but in this case, I am going to run it. I, I shouldn't, and this is where you, you'd want to close everything down, saying the publisher could not be verified. Are you sure you want to run? I'm going to say yes. Now, at that point, when I've said run yes, and, and I've, um, I've confirmed that I want to run that program, I've given it permission to install itself, and it says here now, Security Shield um, has been installed successfully. Okay, so basically now, as you can see, this um, Security Shield program is uh, running, and it shows that uh, it's basically taken over my machine. It'll stop you from doing the things you'd normally want to do. Um, that they they can be quite difficult to get off. Um, uh, what they try and do is try and get you to um, pay to remove them or to activate them, if you like. <laughs> And then they'll pretend that all these viruses are gone. You, you weren't infected with anything in the first place. All you've done is given uh, them sort of fifty pounds, and uh, they've also got your credit card details, which um, would be a concern. If you do get um, conned into to paying for the program, uh, you just need to contact your credit card company and tell them that um, that was a fraudulent transaction, and hopefully you'll get reimbursed. Right now, I'm going to close this down. Interestingly, this is Windows, uh, this is Microsoft Security Essentials. This is actually coming from the program itself, saying it's detected items on your computer that may have not been yet classified for risks. Please send them. So it just shows it doesn't, that these change all the time. These, uh, these are very clever and uh, they change their names and they change their, their sort of um, their identity and, and they're hard to detect for these um, normal antivirus programs. 
Okay, to, to fully the infect the machine, I'm actually going to do a reboot. Okay, um, I'm going to do here, click on restart. Now, what this does is make sure that the, the, uh, the virus has fully infected the machine, so I can do a genuine removal of the, the virus. Okay, I'm coming back into Windows now. It's just finishing off loading, and you can see the security shield has already presented itself and uh, is doing further scans of my machine. Um, this time, I'm going to um, see what it wants me to actually do, just to show you what happens. I'm going to say, remove all threats now. Um, yes, activate security shield. Now I'm taken to its um, web page, which is trying to get me to download an £80 license to activate the software and remove these viruses that, that don't actually exist. Um, so you, you definitely don't want to do that. I'm going to shut this down. Now to, to show how clever the, these uh, viruses are, if I now try and go uh, on our on our web page and maybe try and download some software that somebody's uh, one of my computer friends told me um, or disinfect the machine, it won't let me do it. Okay. Um, now what I'm going to show you in a minute is going through to what's called safe mode to try and um, to try and do this. But um, let's see if we can do it without being in safe mode. So I'm going to go to a site called ninelight.com forward slash malwarebytes and see if I can get there because this is where I want to download the software that we can hopefully get the this uh, rogue um, antivirus software off our machine. Now you can see it hasn't taken us to the web page we want. What it's actually taken us to is warning message from your internet browser. The page is under virus attack. This may crash your system. This may be caused by virus content found at the site. It's trying to install its components. It's all, it's all sort of complete rubbish. It says, obtain a license for security shield, launch spyware, keep browsing. And if I keep on clicking on that, it won't let me. So I, I can't get to that page. Um, I'm also, you know, trying to, I'm getting funny messages about a task engine.exe is infected. It's all trying to panic you into buying the software. Okay. Um, now, there's, there's various ways of removing these, these uh, viruses, and some of them more complex than others. So what we're actually going to try in this situation is to restart the computer. Okay, so click on restart. Um, when Windows restarts, you need to press the the F8 key. Okay, um, just after you get the black screen, so you normally hear a boot. Um, what this actually does is is gives you an option to to load up what's called safe mode, which is a sort of restricted version of Windows. You'll know when you've done it because you'll be prompted with a here we go with a, a list of options. Um, you've got safe mode or safe mode with networking. You want to choose safe mode with networking, so you just use the arrow keys up and down to move to safe mode with networking, and then hit the return key. So you can see we're we're in uh, Windows safe mode. It does look a little bit different. You'll see. Um, safe mode in the top right, top left, bottom left, bottom right. Um, again, go to Internet Explorer. You might want to expand the video so you can see what I'm doing here because I can't zoom in on safe mode. And type into your browser www.ninite.com forward slash malware bytes and then hit return, that's M-A-L-W-A-R-E-B-Y-T-E-S. Uh, we click on download, in, download Installer, and there's loads of great software you can download from this site, and it's, all, it's mainly free, um, and it's so easy to install. Um, you want to click on Run. Again, click on Run. Now, you will get various warnings here, but we know that this is a, is a bona fide a, a website, um, so we can, we can safely download from it um, without concern. And what it's doing now is it's downloading malware bytes. Um, if you go into full screen you'll be able to see this. Um, and it's installing it. Um, and then when it's done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot back into Windows and try and run it. Um, and restart the computer. So now we're going to restart the computer in full mode. Don't need to press F8 key um, as you're starting up. Because you want to be running Malwarebytes um, in the full version of Windows, not the safe mode. Uh, basically, Malwarebytes um, just works better in that mode. 
Um, it sees programs that are currently running and it shuts them down. Now, what I'm doing here is I double clicked on the malware, malware bytes icon on the desktop, okay, to run the software. And we'll just wait for it to load up. Now, now we're in malware bytes anti malware. This is a fantastic package for removing um, these rogue antiviruses. Um, it works phenomenally well. I mean, basically, it removes most of these type of viruses with with a few clicks. So, what you want to do is um, click on the perform quick scan. That'll be the default option anyway. Um, I mean, you, you you should run a full uh, full scan, but the quick scan works pretty well and. Uh, um, we'll run that in this case and see what it picks up. Okay, hopefully we're now finishing off the the scan. Yeah, it's found uh, four viruses so far. Um, these will all be part of the same virus, unless you've got other infections on your machine as well, of course. And again, depending on what type of rogue antivirus this is, um, you'll get a different number of infections. Okay, at the end of that, Let's sit two minutes in this case. The scan completed successfully. Click show results. So follow through here. Click on the show results. And here we can actually see all the, the various constituent parts of this software, the security shield virus and all the various ways it cons you into um, and trying to buy the software, basically. Click on the remove selected button. It won't take very long. Pops up a, um, a little text file that uh, shows you what it's done and uh, it says it's all been removed, log file has been saved, your computer needs to be restarted, you just need to restart the machine okay um, and and you're you're basically disinfected okay I'm going to restart now okay, I'm just coming back into Windows now after the reboot you might get a message from um, Malwarebytes to say yes to that now the, the infection is gone um, also worth running um, uh, an online scan, so you can see my virus package here. It's not actually picked up anything anyway, but it's worth running a full scan just in case. Um, on the web, uh, if you type online, uh, um, online scanner um, into Google, you'll have loads. I'll try the ESET um, scanner here. That that's a good one. Um, and let's have a look what else. the house call, which is Trend um, Micros um, one, is also also very good. Um, so if you if you run at least uh, one of those scans as well as your normal package, just to check that your computer's clear of viruses um, while you're online, <clears throat> they're they're very good. To not get um, infected again, the best the best way is to just be wary. Um, um, be be vigilant and uh, be aware of these sort of uh, ways that these viruses con you into downloading their software. Um, and also, if we run malware bytes, I'll show you this uh, version we're using is actually free. Um, but if you look at the top here, protection, and you can actually start the trial. Um, the tri the full version um, enables what's called a real time protection module. Now this. Um, constantly protects your machine um, and I'll show you how that works if I start the trial okay okay so this malware bytes is now protecting your system actively now we, we sell this software in our shop um, or on the website of the technology company.co.uk it's the only virus package we sell um, it works very well with your other normal virus package like Norton or Microsoft um, it's £20 and um, it's a lifetime licensing and you have to pay for it once. It's updated about, it must be like five to ten times a day. Um, now I'm going to show you how it works. You can see down here that it's, it's currently running. If I now start the web browser and I click on that uh, link that we clicked on before, if we click on that link again, let's see what happens. It hasn't, got, it hasn't taken us to the page. Um, and here down the bottom it's popped up successfully blocked um, access to a potentially malicious website and it's given us the, the address of that website. Okay, so basically with that running um, actively you, you wouldn't even get to that website in the first place. You wouldn't have to face all those options about which 
boxes to, to shut down. It's, it's a great program, um, and uh, I, I'd highly recommend it. Thank you very much for, for watching, um, and if you have any requests for future videos, then, then please ask uh, here, um, and I hope to see you again soon.